Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today, as you can guess, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going for a little walk. Now one of two of you guys have said to me, Steve, how do you manage to keep so well fit? Uh, I just wear black all the time. Please subscribe and please share. Anyway, we'll get right on with the video. Well, we started a journey off in a little village called Yuli. Now, this is just outside a place called Dursley, where my bakery shop is. So we're gonna start a journey off here. This is the Cotswold Way. Well, there's the village of Yuli, or like some of the Americans say, Uli. As you can see, it's a beautiful little village. It's got around about 1,200 people here. Well, this is one of the first obstacles we got here. Yeah, a gate. A few guys who's not used to the countryside always shut the gate after you. In the old days, okay. When I was a little bit younger, this is where we used to bring our motorbikes. So it's the middle of a wood and it's just ideal for doing those trials rides. But obviously these days, being a bit of an older person, um, maybe it was irresponsible of me ass at the time, but it was good fun. And that, isn't that what us kids get up to? Let's be fair. That's the whole point of childhood. Get on our motorbikes and go for a little spin around the woods. And as you can see down here, it's a great track. Goes all the way up into the woods. Excellent job. I mean, who wouldn't like that? Okay, I still do it on my mountain bike now. But obviously, um, <laughs> I've got no cameras for my mountain bike, so I can get the, I'm not gonna be showing you that. <laughs> It's, it's funny, it's bad enough trying to trying out this on my phone at the moment. I, uh, I'm starting to learn already uh, not to put my fingers in front of the camera. Because you don't realise it. You know, it, it, it's, it's funny when you're doing things like this. Oh, and bear this mind, I'm walking uphill here. And um, am I slightly out of breath? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so my condition of walking isn't up to it but you can see this this is just great for your bikes I mean let's just look at it I mean who wouldn't want to bring their mountain bike on this you know but back in its day obviously we we're on motors now you come down you're on your motor, mountain bike and they say nature don't grow <laughs> More trees, and look at these bluebells. Whereabouts do you find stuff like this? You don't find it in towns and cities, but village walks, you know, how beautiful is this? A woodside right on your doorstep. You can't beat it, can you? Well, we're gonna be just entering now the gateway to Yuli Berry. And up on here, everybody parks their cars and they go for walks, take the dogs. And it's a, like a loop straight round the top. But what we're gonna do is straight over the top and down the other side. And then we're gonna be heading off to Dursley. I mean, usually if I'm walking the road, um, this village to Dursley, you're talking about, for me, 30 minutes walk. But today, I'm taking it easy. And let's be fair, I'm not in the total condition for doing a lot of walking. But it'd be interesting to see how I get on doing this. I've got a timer on me, got a clock. So I'm actually working at how long this is actually taking me. Because I'd be interested to see, oh, oh yeah, and I've actually got a heart rate monitor on as well, you know. 
Oh, and <laughs> just in case, you know, if it gets a little bit high, the idea is to sort of slow the pace down. Because yesterday I went out on my mountain bike, I'll tell a lie, I went out on my gravel bike and done a trip round on and off road. And now I'm basically, it's called a recovery, but let's be fair, I'm not sure this is much of a recovery when you go up a hill. I'm already puffing as you can see it, but it'd be interesting. Right, we'll go up this way onto the top. This is where we used to bring our motorbikes up. Ooh, a bramble. Youch. Oh, uh, this is called mountain climbing now. See, doesn't that look authentic? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a drop off down there. We used to drop off down there on our mountain bikes and our motorbike. Well, there we are, we're up on the top. Oh, and you can tell I'm out of breath. I'm just gonna be interested to see what this footage looks like from this camera. I've got no filters on this camera at all. It's just as it comes out the box. The sound is just out the camera. So it's pretty, <laughs> it, it's, to me, I think it's gonna be great. But I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to be looking because on the front of this camera, you can see where the camera is. On the back here, I don't know if I should be looking left or right into the camera because I can't see it. Unless it's this one here. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, I found it. <laughs> uh, I've only had the camera, what, two months now and I've now found the camera on, the, on this side. Oh, interesting enough. Um, I'm sure the only trouble with doing it walking with this, in this mode, the stabilization isn't there. So I might swap it over to another feature where it's got more stabilization. Because to me, I can see myself walking, which, okay, it's fine. But if I'm watching this back, it might not be as good. So I might be all, all over the place. So I'll, sw I'll swap it over in a bit, just to see what it looks like. So this is with the super steady on. So we've got a feature that actually does a super steady feature on the camera, which is quite interesting to me. I can now compare this super steady cam to like the director's view. I'm, <laughs> it's hard to tell in this, like this, but oh, I can switch back around. There you go. That's, that's cool. <laughs> As you, oh, you know what you're thinking. You know, I need to know a bit more about the camera before going out, trying it out, but. In that, in that the whole point, <laughs> that's the whole point of a camera, isn't it? We go out, we try out these things to see what it looks like. And as you can see, there's a dirty big cloud here. So I think I might get wet. <laughs> Hopefully not. Well, there we go. We're right up on the top now. We've got Yuli over here, down there. And as we move round, and there we go over there, you can see the Nibley Monument in the distance. Hopefully you can see that from here. Sorry for me, I've got no glasses on, so I'm looking at a screen I could barely see. But over in the distance is Nibley Monument. Then you've got Dursley down below. And as we come along, this is Smallpox Hill. Let's be fair, why would they call it Smallpox Hill? Yeah, for one reason only. That is a massive girt burial ground for people who had smallpox. Not saying that they're all there now or not, but apparently if you go round there at night, it's very ghostly. We might do that one night with the special camera to see what it's like, see if we can spot any ghosts. Believe me, I'm not, I'm not into the ghosts theory. You know, we'll keep that one out of there. And as we move across, we can see the village of Cam. Now, whether you can see this all right on here but, or not, I don't know, because it's very difficult for me to actually see myself. There's a distant shot. 
We're coming a bit closer. You can see Stinch Camille in the distance. That's better. Stinch Camille. You come across here. We've got the Severn. And this one down the bottom there is Cam Peak. It's a big hump in the ground. And then you've got the Long Down. So I'm going to venture down. If you see where those people are, I'm going to head down where they are. Um, whether I'm going to take a seat there or not, I dare not. But we'll go down to the bottom of the hill because basically this whole route up here goes right the way round and you can do a complete circle. And then you can just drop down off the side of the hill, down and basically speaking, smallpox over here. You can actually walk up to that one as well. So my journey now, we're going to go round Smallpox Hill and head towards Dursley. So that from here now should take me about 30 minutes with a bit of luck. Out of interest, this is a small quarry going back years ago. The old girls and the old boys, they used to quarry their stone here. And what's quite interesting, because millions of years ago, obviously this ground was full of water. It's hard to believe, but in that rock, if you break it down, you can actually find fossils. Now, I'm not sure if there's any dinosaur fossils there, but there is fossils from sea creatures, because obviously this is quite high up in the air. So it's hard to believe that where we are now was covered in water. It's hard, <laughs> I, can't, I can't get my head around it. It's one of those things. And the whole quarry, obviously this has got greenery on it now, but in the old days, they used to come up here and take the stone. It's not very good stone for building houses, but it's obviously been used for summer. I'm not really sure as to what, but why, who knows? That's, that's the old days. We're talking about long past Victorian, they're going back further than that. You know, there. If I think, if you dig deep enough, you'll find some uh, of evidence of maybe that w this was a a dinosaur pit. I don't think so. Uh, you never know, though. You know, if you've got any answers to that, just pop them down below the video and let me let me know what you think on that. And the best bit about going up a hill is coming down. So now we're just going down. This is normally where you find a lot of horses because this is the area that the horses like to play obviously with the riders but from my point of view as a biker uh, I like horses but bikes and basically bikes and horses don't mix by a long shot it's like cars and bikes they don't mix if you're a biker and you're in a car you look look forward to seeing bikers but when you're not a biker and you're in a car, you tend to run us off the road. You can see down here where the, the horses have been. And there's a little bit of bluebell area here. Uh, in one of my videos, I'll show you a beautiful bluebell area. Um, hopefully it'll be soon before they all die off. Oh, see that squirrel? Yep. It's surprising because between me and you, I mean, a lot of people don't realize this, but up here in this wood, I've actually seen a big cat. Now, it wasn't a dog. I have actually seen this with my own eyes. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it's rubbish and all that, but believe me, it's not. Though, at the moment, there's not much about, and you're not likely to see anybody come out at this time of day. Usually on the dusky side, if you're lucky enough, you might get a glimpse of him. It's got a really long tail, and it's, it's surprising how many people will turn around and say, well, a big cat with a long tail. Well, let's put it this way. It's big enough, like an oversized dog, but it's got one of those swooping tails, and when I've seen pictures of it, it's like a puma. And I'm not the only person to see it, there's lots of people who've seen the same puma. So in this wood where I am now, there is a puma floating around. But it's, let's be fair, whether it's a scapee from a zoo, but how many pumas do you need to make a family? You would need a family, wouldn't you? You know, so one on its own, there must be more than one, because by rights, it's a cat. 
So when you've got a cat, cats like like people. Oh, can we hear that? Some horses. Sounds like it. I can hear them, but I can't see them. So we'll probably see some horses in a minute with a bit of luck. So just to get some idea where we are, this road here goes to Coley. This road goes to basically Dursley. And this road over here goes to Yuli. And that's Smallpox Hill up here. Over here we got the horses. Got some more over here. This is Smallpox Hill. And from what I've been told, these are horses that have been um, old ones, if you know what I mean. I think what they mean is in France, this would end up as a Sunday lunch. Can you imagine having Sunday lunch? No, it just doesn't do it for me. French, yeah, not for me. Give me roast beef or chicken, but not horse. This is Highgate. It's a place where you take your animals for a holiday. Uh, they have seen a puma lying around. So whether whether it's after lunch or he just wants to meet another cat, this would be the place to see it. Well, we've just come to a part of the road now where it basically is a crossroads of the Cotswold Way. Over here, this goes up to the Long Down. Uh, and there's the big, uh, what I call, the billionaire's house. It's one of those special houses, grand design ones. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with the video, by the way. And you've got a footpath that goes up here. Again, we've come down this one. There's also a footpath over here, uh, bridleway as well. And that just goes back, loops back round. And then the one we're going to be doing is basically taking us down to Dursley. So it's just a little route along here. You can see the, where everybody's been up there. Sun's just starting to come out now. Nice saying Cotswold Way. It doesn't say no bikers. And we're gonna go down this one. This is the Cotswold Way footpath. Watch out for bikers. Just a little cut through. Oh, I'll tell you what, that sun feels lovely. It's a bit nippy today. It's <laughs> when, it's, when the sun's in, it feels like the middle of winter. It's got a job to believe that this is actually, what, May? We May? Yeah, I can't even remember now. Time's weird at the moment. It's like a lot of things. Everything seems to be weird. You're doing things that you wouldn't normally do. And then you just wonder what's, what's next on the agenda. Going back years ago, you didn't have any of this fencing. And at one stage or another, this actually collapsed into the Delkin down there. Or whatever you call that river. So obviously someone's come up here and done some work council <laughs> it's certainly it's not highways is it well yeah looking at this you'd say it was <laughs> the state of our roads today but it's just nice to have that little backdrop of the countryside than a fence like this when i was a kid going back years and years ago none of this was here there was no fence it was straight into basically you could see right across and there's another example where obviously someone's decided that they they've even taken the they even take the gate out now because there are obviously no animals but they put a fence in obviously someone's bought this bit of ground like usual whether this ends up being a housing estate like everything else around here but they put a fence in barbed wire to keep everybody else out 
and then you're gonna get this hedge that's gonna grow up and you ain't gonna see nothing. You know, looking after the environment. Well, this obviously is gonna be some type of pond once it's been grassed, but no one's gonna see it anyway because it will be covered in hedges, more and more hedges. But if you fancy doing one of these walks, Cotswold Way, from Yuley to Dursley, lovely little route. And what's nice is, once you get to Dursley, you can choose the pubs, pubs you wanna to go to. Unfortunately, there's only one. And I believe that they don't do food in the daytime. So you're out of luck there. They do do drink, but that's about stretch of it. And in Dursley, they got a shed of cafes, restaurants, and the top one of all is hairdressers. As you can see, Mrs. Crazy Baker done mine. What a mess. But it was better than it was previously. And just imagine when we were in the, when we were in the lockdown, my hair looked like something from the 1960s. Well, actually, I think uh, 1970s. At one stage, I, I even had sideburns. Scary. That's why I kept wearing my hat. But the Cotswold Way, definitely a little route. It's always routed down through Dursley. And the favourite is to get up onto Stinch Camille because you can see all the valleys right across to Wales. And you can even see the Malvern Hills from there. And once you're up on Stinch Camille, you can also see Nibley. There's a path that goes from Stinchcombe Hill to Nibley. So you get a nice little walk from there. Or if you wanted to use your mountain bikes, fine. It's great for that. Often or not, I'll be up there on my mountain bike. I'm not a lover of this walking business. One of my mate who does a YouTube channel, he has dogs. And you'll see him trotting around with his dogs out of breath. And uh, I don't have dogs. So unfortunately, it's just me and the camera just walking about. But we will do a trip round the bakers. There's all the old bakers that used to be around our area. And there's something around about, what, 10 bakeries that all close down. And what we'll do, we'll go round and visit them where they are and what's happening to them today. Obviously, in Dursley, there's only one bakery left and that's me. So, <laughs> and it just so happens that two of the bakeries I'd actually previously worked in, which are now shut. So that tells you something about those bakers now, that there's none of them left. They're all closed down. So in one video I'm going to be doing, where I'm going to go around each of those bakeries and show you where they were. And hopefully if I can find some old footage of what they looked like back then, then uh, it'll make, make sense. But, for now, a lot of the bakers just didn't take photograph of their premises. So this is another view of Camp Peak in the Long Down. Now, I'm not sure whether the wind is affecting the camera or not. I can't tell at the moment. So I've got no mic as such from the camera. So it'd be interesting to see how windy this is. So I apologize if it's making a bit of wind. Let's look round. We're now going to start dropping down into Dursley. There's a big stately home over here. And you can see all the old trees. I just love trees like this. It just takes you back to those old black and white photos. And there's the post down here. Now this will take you down to Dursley and we'll be walking past where they do the bowls. If you know what that is. They've got little woods and a little jack. And they, no, don't get me wrong, I've not done any bowls, but believe me, I know all about it. Years ago, somebody said to me, Steve, you're good at bowls. Well, in their dreams I am. <laughs> it was just that they wanted members, so they'll tell you you're good anyway, even if you're rubbish. Well, this is another part of the Cotswold Way just here. This goes up, and obviously this is the one we've just come down. And that's another public footpath. And this, as you can see, we go down here, 
this is also a part of the Cotswold Way. And as I mentioned earlier, this is the Bowl Club. And you can see one or two people are actually doing a bit of bowling or trying it out as a keep fit. Obviously, I'm not up to this speed of working out. It's almost like doing golfing. It's the same sort of thing. It's that you relax and chill out. And, you know, it's great to have a place to come where the younger people learn how to throw a ball at a jack. It's a bit cruel, really. Little white ball there and they're smashing these woods at them. What's that all about? <laughs> but if you want to join Dursley Bowls Club, there's a telephone number. Get in touch. They'll teach you. Bowls Club is at Chestel. So you'd miss it. And this is one of our historic buildings. It's Lister's Priory. Very old building. What's well, nice to know, they've actually put a plaque up for them. RA Lister's, engines, a really good engineering company in its day. The biggest problem with them, their machinery they were making was too damn good. It didn't break. They didn't have the understanding of Henry Ford. When Henry Ford made cars, the first thing he realized, they, were, they weren't breaking. And the same as Lister's, they were making machinery that didn't break. So they didn't repair. They didn't need repairs. They didn't need maintenance. They just worked. Unlike Henry Ford, he decided to put floors into the cars. And a lot of the other manufacturers from America did the same. They put floors into their cars so you'd have to service them. The principle of Lister's, they built quality. And it's a shame, but the quality killed them in the end. Because without maintenance, there's no money. So what become of Lister's? Well, as you will see, houses. And here comes my ride. I've decided that I'm taking the old van back home. I'm certainly not going to walk it. It's nice to get down here, walking it, but Mrs. Crazy Baker's now picked me up in the van. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and please share. And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking lifestyle recipes reviews I am the crazy baker please subscribe and please share laters